Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Aberdeen Career Mode. This episode, we are going to be playing against Kil uh, Kil Kilmarnock. I cannot get these names down to save my life. But if we do beat them, we would go above them in the table. So this is a very important game. We're obviously still trying to climb our way back out of all the draws that we've been getting this season. Um, again, our team's not playing bad, but we could definitely be playing a lot, a lot better. Um, we have a couple defenders that are a little tired. I am kind of risking it by playing them. Um, but against a team like this, we again, we need the win. We have to make sure that we don't concede. We have to make sure that we're going to score the goals we need, um, which is why I'm still training uh andrew carlton shooting ability and trying to just make sure that i can get these goals where i can um because as of right now we have been struggling this season to score goals boyle's been doing well but he needs some help we need more goals um because our defense honestly hasn't been that bad we're conceding some goals that we shouldn't for sure for sure but um really like we're not playing that bad i mean we're, we're we're tied with rangers for second least amount of goals conceded we're, we've conceded nine in more than nine games i can tell you that and we're just we just need a couple more goals here and there and i think we'll be fine um again i messed with the tactics a little bit made the team a little bit more narrow in attacking um and told Wright and bravo to stay more wide Ooh, Carlton. Maybe I should have just take him a touch. I didn't know how much time I had right there. I thought he was going to bang that one home, though. I think in the next window, we might need to sign... I don't know. I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't know what we need. I kind of want a winger that can score. Um, Bravo's been great. But I need somebody like a Scott Sinclair, not literally Scott Sinclair, but I need somebody like that that was able to score so many goals for me last season when I played with him, um, or last year rather, when I played with him at Celtic, or like a Tito, or Julian Gressel. But I need money for that, and I don't really have money. Um, so it could end up being that we need to sell somebody or trade somebody with Atlanta United. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody's on like a short contract and we can sign them. It's it's kind of a weird weird place to be. Please. Let's go. That's a goal. He's on side. Let's go, baby. 1-0. 12 minutes in. Another goal for our boy Martin Boyle. I was trying to think of his first name that whole time I was talking. But one nil up. This is this, again. This is a good start. We've always had decent starts. It just comes down to the second half, making sure our guys aren't too tired, making sure we're making the right substitutions, um, to really make sure that we can control this game, control the pace, and make sure we get this win. Ferguson on the ball, down to Carlton. Carlton's bad pass because I'm an idiot. Fully not Carlton's fault. Fully my fault. I'm going to try to get this video done before that guy gets any closer to my window with the leaf blower. But he's getting pretty close. Hilton? Can I get that to Bravo? Ooh, yeah, I can. Oh, the pass was so bad. Nice. Could whip it in from here. Oh. <sighs> Maybe another midfielder as well. I like our guys, but they're, they're, they're tired because they're playing a lot. That was not a foul, ref. Come on, man. Such a bad cross. Such a bad cross. That's going to be the end of the first half. 1-0 up. You can't complain. We definitely deserve more goals. If I could just get the cross, if I could just get the finish, um, or just that one little pass that we need. Maybe I should upgrade my center attacking mid. I definitely need a better winger, I think. My midfield's not bad, and I'm okay with Carlton. He controls well. He has a couple mistakes here and there. 
But if I get a better striker or a better winger in this team, um, if I got a better striker, obviously I can move uh, Boyle back to right mid and have his pace on the wing. Um, he's not the best finisher, but he'll do the job, obviously. He has so far this season. If I can't get a striker and I get a winger, we leave Boyle a striker and move forward that way. I don't know. We'll see. That was supposed to go to Carlton like 25 times over. Holy crap, our through balls are bad. They're just the worst. Our long passing is so freaking bad. I don't even care. Give them the free kick. I swear to God, if they score this, man. I think that's like our fourth fourth goal we've conceded off of a uh, deflection. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Which like 4 out of 10 is not good. That's 40% of our goals have come from a deflection and an open net. Which is absolutely insane. The goal that would put them in front doesn't look too far away the way they're playing. Ferguson. Return pass. Boyle. Ref? Give me the foul there, man. What? He literally played advantage. I tried to get rid of the ball. Are you kidding me? <sighs> the later the game gets, the worse my players get. Because the stamina just fucks their whole game. Are you... And then they score goals like that. And now I'm going to lose. Like, what is this goal, man? Are you kidding me? What happens to my defender right there, dude? Freaking got scored on by Brophy. I'm angry. I'm angry. Oh my god, get off of me. And then that's my shot from the edge of the box. Granted, it was contested. It wasn't a good shot idea. We lose the game. <sighs> we could have played better, man. We could have played better. We had nine shots, six on target, and couldn't score. We couldn't score more than one goal and lost the game. This is so freaking frustrated. We have options. We'll be fine. Just unlucky. We're not in the best shape, but we're going to get there. We're going we're, we're, we're to be all right. I'm going to work on some training with the team and then we'll get into the next game and hopefully work our way back up the table because now we are five points back from Kil uh, Kilmarnock and we need to get it together real quick because again, I literally made this team worse by coming here. Um, and that's just not good for anybody, man. So let me go ahead, mess around with the team a little bit and we'll be the team seems to be happy, which is really good, um, especially considering not a lot of them are playing that much, but they're they're staying happy, and I think a lot of that has to do with the press conferences. Um, but I don't know for sure, so we're just kind of trying to do what we can. Obviously, again, we want to try to get back up in the table. Um, it's going to take a lot, a lot of good performances for that to happen because the teams at the top really aren't dropping points that much. Um, and honestly, like the amount of games that we're drawing, I think we just need to start going for wins all the time. Just always going for the win um, and not wasting our time trying to get a draw like that. Um, because at this point, like it's just, it's just not working out for us. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Just pass for Bravo. Four, four, two. Yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite 
Let's go. Good finish, right? That's all it takes. Just a little finesse, bottom right corner. Beautiful cross from Bravo. Honestly, didn't even see right coming, but I'm really glad he made that run. I saw he was like kind of making the run. I did not think he was going to get there in time. But honestly, he's probably got a better shot at making that run than Bravo does. Because um, he has that 82 pace that does give us that opportunity right there. Nice way to keep that boil. That back. What is drag bag? Okay, got it. For some reason I was thinking it was L1 for drag bag. Oh, too high. Again, we don't really have the long shot midfielder. I know. I want to bring somebody in for that position. I don't know who though. Like, I don't know, because I don't. I also just don't want to try to like make this too. Oh no. It's the same thing every time. Edge of the box, one of my defenders miss a tackle, and they're through on goal every single time. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know why McKenna pulled up right there, but missed the tackle, left him wide open, edge of the box, puts it bottom corner. Every time. It's how I've conceded almost every single goal in this career mode. I can't defend it for some reason. I don't know what keeps happening. Did I control McKenna right there? I don't know. I'll see whenever I actually watch this episode back, but like, why do I have that problem so much more with this team than I have with any other team? And Young is playing for Ferguson. I should double confirm uh, because Ferguson did get that red card last game. Nice attempt from Carlton. Not perfect, but it'll do. Nice ball. Liner. Carlton. Let's go, baby. Beautiful cross. 2 1. We're back in the lead. Again, I'm going for wins, man. I'm done going for draws. We might, we might take some losses along the way. But we've had way too many games with only one point coming out of it. And it's not it's not moving us in the table. We're just we're stuck at mediocrity, right? And that's just not acceptable. Not acceptable. We need to at least match what Aberdeen's doing in real life, considering I sold the players that I did and decided to adjust the team the way I did. I need to at least at least match what they're doing in real life. They got fourth place last year in the Scottish Prem. They're getting third this year, it looks like. Um, I did confirm they play, what, 38 games in the Scottish Prem, so I guess you play a couple teams three times, maybe? Oh, nice try for the cut there, Young. Appreciated it. Here we just don't concede right here at the end of the half. Please win that header. That'll do. Let's get it out. Here we go. End of the first half. 2-1 up. We might end up conceding more goals too um, along the way, just depending on how we play this out. But I'm going to let Carlton play a little bit longer, and then we'll go ahead and bring on um, Gallagher and then move forward from there. Oh, the shot was so bad. Please score that right. Thank you. Third goal of the game. Second goal for right. Two or three one up now. I'm so used to saying two one up because I'm barely ever winning a game. Three one up. We might actually be able to come out with a victory here. Again, just not enough wins this year. I think we only have like four. And then we have like four draws, two losses, two or three losses. Come on, man. Let's get it together. Like, all that for it to not even... Okay. Whatever, man. We're bringing in Gallagher first. We're probably also going to end up bringing in uh, McLennan and uh, what's-his-face soon. But, for now, those are the changes. Let's 
Ooh, that's a banger from Young. That's 4-1. Let's go, baby. Young actually might be ready to start playing. He's getting there for sure. We're obviously still training him up, too. I don't think he replaces Ferguson, but he's a good bench option now for Ferguson, possibly. Oh, nice try, Gallagher. We'll take the we'll take the corner. Eight minutes left. What is that pass? Why is it there? There were like three midfielders that were wide open, dog. I tapped that button. Tapped it. Go. So we'll take that. Last minute of the game. Last three minutes of the game. Sorry. Is that gonna get there? No, it's not. I should have put it in the air, I guess. Oh, they just don't want to concede again. Jesus. They're terrified. <clears throat> that makes me so mad. That makes me so mad. But that is a dub. We are going to be starting off this episode with a win. This is the start of the episode, right? Actually, I literally don't even remember. Because I'm recording these like spaced weird, I'm playing them like a game at a time, which is probably why I'm not doing that well. I don't know, man. We're gonna cut all that anyways. Um, but we end up grabbing the win. A 4-1 victory, a right got a 9.5 rating, 11 shots, nine on target. That is exactly how we wanna continue to play. Right did really well on the wing side. Bravo did well. Um, Really just an all-around great performance. Boyle obviously did incredible. He deserves all the praise. What a great player. Wright deserves all the impressive performance out of Wright. Um, how do you feel about blah, blah, blah? It's a competition. We played perfectly. We played perfectly. Keep the squad happy. That is how you do it. Let's go, man. So, if this is the end of this episode, I really can't remember, honestly, at this point. But, if this is the episode, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace!